Hello everyone! I am joining you with some random new things that I got from Target Beauty Wise. I thought I would go ahead and put some of them on. It's not like a massive full face haul, but there are quite a few beauty items here, so I thought I'll put on what I can in this video, and you'll see more of this stuff in future videos. But the first thing I wanted to talk about, I decided to get this Vanny Cream Facial Moisturizer with the SPF 30. Um, I've tried a lot of parts of the Vanny Cream line, love the cleanser, love the actual Vanny Cream. I like their daily facial moisturizer, but I thought let's try the one that has the SPF 30 in it. I'm kind of running low on my Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion, which is my absolute favorite sunscreen. I think it's perfect under makeup, and I just kind of wanted to see texture-wise what this would be like compared to that. Um, I feel like this is thicker. It's more like white at first, like you kind of expect a sunscreen to be. It takes a little more rubbing in. However, there is more moisture, and I'm kind of combining two steps instead of using my Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer and then my sunscreen. I've got the two steps in one here. However, it is SPF 30 as opposed to the SPF 50 that I'm getting from the Super Goop. Um, but it says mineral sunscreen with ceramides for sensitive skin, free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde releasers. And yeah, it's just kind of a missing piece from this line that I hadn't yet tried. And I think it'll be good, but I don't think it's going to necessarily keep me from repurchasing the Super Goop. I think I will use this under some circumstances. I'll put it in the rotation, as I say, but I think Super Goop's still my favorite for under makeup because it's just so effortless. You know, it's so thin. It's really light. This is just a little thicker but again, it is combining a couple of steps in one. So I'm going to stick this down in my little drawer of sunscreen. Then I got a couple of little primers from Wet n Wild. I know this one's been out for a bit, but it's their um, Prime Focus Primer Serum. It's the Hydrate one that has rose water, watermelon, and peony. And I thought, you know, I've seen this around, but why haven't I tried it yet? So I'm going to put a little bit on. Oh, it does have kind of a fresh scent, but wow, really, really thin. Might make a nice little addition for those with dry skin. It honestly feels just about like my hyaluronic acid going across my skin when I first apply that. It says that it nourishes as it preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear. So we'll see. I just feel like I've tried most things from Wet n Wild, but I hadn't really um, looked into that. Another newer thing here that I have is the Glow in Love Radiance Liquid from Wet n Wild. And I think this might be Wet n Wild's take on like a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I did this in an order. I delivery order, so I'm not sure if there was like a whole lineup of shades, but it appears that there's not. It looks like this is just the one shade it comes in, but it says it can be used alone or as a primer. I thought I'd just put a little bit of this on just to see. It's got a little squeeze tube. I'm gonna be so primed up and glowy and moisturized. It had kind of a beigey champagne look to it, but looking like a sheer glowy primer. It's not one of those things where, oh, it's incorporated like a shade of foundation in there or we're getting some kind of light coverage. It's strictly glowy, but it definitely does deliver on that glow without seeming like there's a ton of shimmer. There's a little sheen left behind on my hands that I can see, but I'm not seeing any um, like sparkly flakes. Okay, uh, my skin is so hydrated right now. I'm not going to have any dry skin moments today. Two different coverage types of products. The first is kind of the reason why I ended up getting this haul of things through Target. Like there were a couple of other random items I needed and I'm just like, I'll just get them at Target because that seems to be the only store around me carrying this stuff. This uh, CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I know I've heard some people talk about it and I just like, it hasn't been a convenient thing for me to pick up. I don't really go to Target that often. But do you see how it's full of little beads? Not full of beans, like my mom used to say about me when I was a kid, um, but full of little beads. I got the shade Light Medium. They call it a Hydro Fresh Tint. I'm not really sure what to expect out of this, but we have that. And then I was also interested in this from Revolution. It's their Super Dewy Skin Tint, Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I got it in the shade Medium. I bought this with the knowledge that going into summer, I might need some slightly deeper shades in some of my complexion things. And so I went for Medium in this. It's got the pump. It's still like all wrapped up in its packaging. It says lightweight tinted moisturizer gives skin a radiant dewy finish enriched with wild berry extract. So there's loads of this stuff out here right now. I really didn't need this, especially getting something like this, but it's just in the name of trying it out. So I'll try that out in a future video. For now, 
I am gonna try this. Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I don't like when they call different things skin perfectors and there's like, it's not a coverage product. There's zero going on in that sense with it, but they choose to use that word perfector. Um, okay, we're gonna pump some out. Come on, pump. Oh. Oh, wow. The little beads have been broken up and they're suspended in like a clear liquid. It's like, a newer take on Almay Smart Shade is what it is, it seems. Do you see a little bit of that pigment that's just, you know, kind of breaking across the skin? It really makes sense to me to blend this out with my hands for some reason because I feel like that's going to effectively mush those little broken beads further into my skin, but it doesn't come out fully in the beads. That's what Smart Shade would do. Um, if you've ever tried that product, its beads come out intact and then as you blend it in they break and this through the pump out they get a bit broken and they're like suspended in what seems like a serum or just some kind of clear goo okay the the coverage is so incredibly light here i'm not sure that the coverage changed at all and building it up feels like it would just add extra moisture on my skin at this point you know what i mean so i'm not sure that's wise i'm also not sure that if on first pump if the ratio of liquid to broken beads was proper you know what i mean like it, what if i just for experiment's sake one more little pump and it's looking the same do you see what that looks like when you get it out you can see the the beads that have kind of been busted up it's running down my finger and then just a lot of clear liquid and then just that teensy bit of coverage to blend in. I suppose you could bring in a brush if you felt like, okay, I've gotten all those pigment balls <laughs> broken up. Maybe now I'll bring in a brush just to dab around. But the coverage is just so incredibly light. It seems like the blending of a brush just isn't really called for, you know? Again, the use of the word skin perfector with a product that isn't covering hardly anything. I mean, what do you think about my skin? I thought my skin looked decent going into this video with nothing on it. I didn't have a whole lot of troubles to mess with. Maybe a little nose redness and a few random, I don't know, like zit remnants here or there, but I look really glowy, really hydrated. That's probably next to my double priming and then this stuff. And yeah, this is just my first go around. This is not a full complete review, but I don't know. This is a product that's gonna have to grow on me because I kind of feel like there's a nowhere but up vibe for me on this. It's just super duper light. The ratio of actual pigment to just that kind of gooey moisture, it doesn't seem like it's quite where I'd want it to be, but end result feels like the equivalent of a super sheer skin tint. Okay guys, a lot has happened. A lot has gone down on the face. We've added coverage, we've added color, um, I threw on a little bit of a foundation stick. After that whole CoverGirl Essence thing, I was like, let's just add a little more coverage. So I used my Maybelline Fit Me stick, partially because I wanted to stay drugstore with whatever I was using, but also this is good about actually not making you too dewy. It kind of manages shine a little bit, and I felt like maybe that was what my skin needed after two primers plus a glowy skin product. So I did that. And then I popped on my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Vanilla, and I hit the under eye and the nose with that, got that all blended out. I set it with Maybelline Fit Me in Fair, so I have a nice bright under eye. And then I lightly dabbed my Infallible Fresh Wear in True Beige, just all over the rest of the skin, just to make myself feel a bit more set. I don't feel dry whatsoever, but I feel a little more like, okay, this will get me through the day type of confidence after using some of that all over. Then I use my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Bronzer. This is a cream bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze Gem. I use that on my cheeks and around my forehead and then actually lightly went over that with some Instant Summer from Hard Candy because I just like layering cream and powder bronzers these days and I feel like this overall this hits a broader surface area and just makes the whole skin look a little more like warmed up. The shade is tan. This is a great product. The blush I'm sporting today is my Infallible Blush in the shade Daring Rose. Rosewood. It looks a little dark and intimidating there in the pan, but shears out to be this really beautiful kind of earthy blush tone. And my highlighter today, so bringing back the glow, restoring that glowy feel we had at the onset. This is my Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer. So just got that lightly here, a little on the forehead. And then I used a brow product. I threw on my Milani Precision Brow in Espresso. So I have a little bit of that on. And then we're finally to a new product that was purchased. I repurchased some NYX Control Freak. And this, in my opinion, is the best 
clear brow gel. Oh, and having a fresh one, I can feel how it's doing so much more. But the great thing about it is, and I remember doing like a dedicated review on this product years ago when I was in the other house. But something to really love about this is how cleaned off this brush is. Like you can put it in contact with your brow without doing any fancy like, oh, I gotta go super light or else I'm gonna get over gooped. You won't get over gooped, but it's a really strong, great holding gel but it will not over goop your brows because the mechanism it's coming through is really cleaning it off in a fantastic way. So I always love the NYX Control Freak. Just the best brow gel. Nice to see you. How are we doing today? Good. Mm, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> I'm wiggling my tooth at you. Oh, you're wiggling your tooth. <laughs> I don't really know what the plan is for the eyes today. I mean, I know I'm gonna use a little Milani eyeshadow primer, but I don't have anything new for eyes except a mascara that I repurchased, and I've got a new little lip color, and then just a couple of random things to talk about. Hi, kitten. Everybody's coming in to visit, huh? Oh, I love you. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do a quick, easy eye with my Hard Candy Instant Summer. I'm gonna take a little crease brush there and maybe pop a little bit of my Revlon highlighter on the lid. Just keep it kind of soft and effortless, huh? Kitten's responding to me with meows over there. Do not climb the bookcase, please. Yes, you can sit on that chair. You can sit there. You seem antsy. Sagar got canceled last night. It was a complete downpour and it had been raining on and off for most of the day. So I figured the fields would be really wet, but then we got a message late in the day saying, game's still on. And then, like, within the hour that the game was supposed to start, the sky just opened up and mega rain ended up getting canceled. I'm okay with a canceled plan on a rainy day. Let's face it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we got a soft little crease there, and then I'll just take some of my skin lights. I don't need a super opaque application of this stuff. I just want a little light glow across my lids mainly maybe on the inner corner and just drag what's left toward the outside. And then I'm going to take my little color tattoo stick. Um, it's the 24 hour eye stick in the shade I am determined. This is a matte finish one and I feel like given how light and like barely there my eyeshadow is I might actually like see that across the lid. Yeah, nice little soft brown and I want to go on the lower lash line too. I love using Shadow Sticks as liner. Like that's that's my thing of the year, you know? I love it because they look kind of pre-smudged and natural. If you find ones that are really long wearing, they're just so perfect on the lower lash line. 10 times better than just taking a shadow down there and seeing it move, drift, and fade throughout the day. Okay, so the other new thing that I got, this is a repurchase and I'm really into pursuing like really thickening mascaras these days. Mascaras where the brush comes out, it's got some stuff on it and it kind of loads up the lashes quickly. And so this is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. I do remember having this like maybe a couple years ago and I never repurchased it, but I actually thought it was pretty good. So it says Mega Volume and Lift. Um, I just got the shade Pitch Black. The mascara that really got me onto this was the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer Mascara, and they have the black version. They call this Butter Blowout, but it doesn't come out quite as thick. And then my current most loved is probably this Milani Anti-Gravity. This is nicely thickening, lengthening, good about holding curl. Like, I'm really enjoying that mascara, but for whatever reason, I thought, try Big Mood again. By the way, I don't have anything on my lips now. I have a little bit of just plain balm, but we do have a lip color to come. Okay, so Big Mood's brush is kind of hourglass shaped and really big. And I'm using the tip to kind of get some product off on my lashes. Ew, no, touched my eyelid, but we'll be okay. It's not loading up quite as fast as I remember, but it's doing a little better about length than I recall. This is doing pretty good. Here's what we're looking at right now with basically one coat. There's two coats. I'm pretty happy with that. It's, it's not quite as like wildly thickening as I remember it being, like as quick to thicken up. And the idea there with wanting something quick is that you're gonna be able to put it on 
faster, fewer swipes. You're going to get the look you need without having to rake through your lashes as many times. I'm going to see if I can remove some of those little specky specks. Because this brush actually comes out pretty clean, but it can be built really effectively, so I like that. I am truly excited to have this back in my grouping of mascaras because I really liked it. It's just, you know, you're going to run out of mascaras and have to let it go at some point, but that's a pretty darn good lash for me. Oh, we also have another gradual tanner to talk about before this video is all said and done. My advice with this mascara is use the little bit of buildup that's on the tip of the brush, like brush it over your lashes, and then use the fluffy big old comb to brush it on through. Okay, there we go. Big mood, big lashes. I'm happy with it. It just took me some time to build and I was sort of hoping it wouldn't take that long. Last thing here, makeup wise for the lips. I got one of these Milani Fruit Fetish lip oils in the cherry lime shade. First off, I'm big into those Clear American Cherry Limeade. The 12 pack of Clear Pop you can get from Walmart for like $4 and change. Those are so good. I'll have one occasionally. Bub really likes them, but we'll get the orange or the Cherry Limeade. They have a pineapple coconut. I really like the Cherry Limeade flavor in things, but I've got some of these lip oils, but I've got all the Nudes collection. Remember when those came out? Once it looked more like this and they have a nice amount of color payoff. And I was just realizing in recent days how much I loved the scents in those and the way the color color did show somewhat, and I thought, I wonder how much the color shows in one of the original ones that came out with this line. It was really strong. Okay. Are we going to see much red tint? That's not too bad. I think that's good. I actually really like that on the lips. It's enough to make them look a little more rosy, but not too much. This is a soft little look we got going on today, guys. I like it. The last thing I will mention, a type of product I'm into trying these days, Gradual Tanner. I've been using this um, Gradual Tanner that I ordered from Walmart. It's the Hawaiian Tropic one. And I'll just show you, like, I can see it more on my arms. This lighting is going to, I feel like, wash everything out slightly. But I've done it on my chest and arms, and I do see a result from that. But it took me, I feel like, about a week to really feel like, yeah, something's going on here. Kind of got something to build on now. I like it, but I wanted to give something else a shot, and so I got this. This is a really big tube of it, 8.45 fluid ounces. I got this Tanologist Daily Glow Hydrating Gradual Tan Lotion. I got the medium to dark shade in this. It says it's got hyaluronic acid, squalane, and beta-glucan deeply nourishes skin while leaving a gradual sun-kissed glow. Um, and I'd heard this is really good for sensitive skin, too, like it was sensitive skin recommended. So I may try this for the coming week and just see how that goes. Another to be continued on this Super Dewy from Revolution, and of course I, I don't feel like I know the full story on this essence yet. It takes me some more uses and some more like product combos to really get clear on that. Oh, I also got some Dove uh, <laughs> spray deodorant. That's my favorite kind. The kind that says no white marks on 100 colors. Back in the day, Makeup by Tiffany D said that is the deodorant everyone needs to be getting, and I jumped on that train and never got off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I actually kind of like this natural little makeup look we ended up with. I think it's looking fresh and good and natural. Oh, she's come in to say her goodbyes. Have a great day. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh.